In a companion video for the Adapt Integration Console, we run through an example tutorial of how to export an eTabs model, import it to Builder 2016.3, and use the reactions and use the data that was imported for purposes of running models inside of Builder. In this example, we're going to show how to extract an XML file in order to extract the story forces from eTabs and be able to import those story forces into Builder. If I select eTabs 2016 or 2015 using the API and I select Next, there's an option here that allows us to select the story force, the XML file, in order to extract the applied lateral loads or the story forces and if we want to import those story forces from eTabs to Builder we have to have this XML file created. So this video tutorial will show us how we extract that particular file. We'll go ahead and close the integration console and we're going to launch eTabs in order to produce the file. In the eTabs model after we have solved the analysis for the given model that we're working on will go up to the file menu and we're going to export eTabs tables to XML. We're going to select analysis results and we're going to select structure results and select story forces. We'll say OK and then we'll select our units so we might want to change for example the force units to kips or newtons or kilonewtons, whatever the units are that you wish to import into Builder. Typically we would like to see these in the same units as force input inside a Builder which is in kips and kilonewtons. So we'll go ahead and select OK. The program will ask where to save the file. We'll go ahead and just save it into this eTabs models folder. And we've now extracted the XML file. Now we'll go ahead and reopen the integration console. I'll go back to eTabs 2016. I'm going to load our eTabs model that I just extracted the XML file from. I'll go ahead and load that model. This requires an active license of eTabs. So when you load the model, you have to have an open license. The program will launch eTabs, extract the data, and then close eTabs. can see now the model that we just created the XML file from is now opening for access to the API and it now closes. So once it's closed we can then determine which levels we wish to import into Builder in terms of the reactions and the applied loads and also we have the ability now to select the StoryForce XML file and I'll go ahead and browse to that file this is the file we created just a moment ago and I'm now going to create the adapt exchange file and if you access the additional tutorial video related to the adapt integration console you can see how we use the IMP file to create the builder model if you have any questions please contact adapt support at support at adaptsoft.com